So after days, weeks, and even months of waiting, it finally happened. We got a brand new Bluey episode! Let's freaking go! And yeah, it's just one single episode, so we're not really getting a new season or anything like that. And if anything, it's still a part of season 3, which I think has been going on for like more than 2 years now. Which in itself is kinda wild when you consider that the first episode came out in 2021, and the season's still going. My channel wasn't even a year old when it began. And yeah, before anyone else comments, there is a new special coming out as well, which is honestly more of the main event here, but we'll discuss that when it comes out in about a week. However, going back to this new episode, I found it really interesting because at first, it's a pretty run-of-the-mill, standard, dare I even say pretty mundane, bluey episode, at least until you get to the end. And before I get into more details and thoughts, I will discuss potential spoilers and I just wanted to mention that, so beware. Although by the time I'm releasing this, it should be available on most platforms, so if you haven't seen it, I guess you can go pause the video and come back. But you better return! But enough horsing around, what is this actual episode about? Well, from face value, it seems like nothing really at all. Bandit is pretending to be a real estate agent, or just some dude selling his house. And of course, Bluey and Bingo interrupt it, goofing off and playing tricks as Bandit tries his best to ignore it. And honestly, that's pretty much the whole episode. Bandit pretends to sell the house to Chili, he shows off a part of it, Bluey and Bingo do something silly, Bandit tries to ignore it, and he takes Chili to another room. Rinse and repeat. But even though the episode can come off as somewhat repetitive and not really that eventful, it's actually kind of fun. Some of the jokes genuinely got a laugh out of me, and the idea of Bingo pretending to be a ghost haunting the house in the form of a laundry basket is such a random but fun idea. Like, it's something that a kid would definitely do. In fact, I just remembered that I used to actually hide under laundry baskets all the time when I was a kid, but I wasn't cool enough to be a ghost, so I just pretended to be a turtle instead. Did anyone else do that, or was I just a weird kid? But yeah, with that said, there's not really a whole lot to this one. And overall, it's just simple fun. Until the last scene. AKA, the literal last few seconds of the entire episode. Because at the very, very end, there's an interesting reveal that could possibly be setting up something big. Which is that the healers are actually selling the house. And of course, at the beginning, it's kind of set up just to be like this pretend game. But from the sign revealed outside at the end, and the parents actually trying to practice selling the place, it's pretty obvious that they are taking this at least somewhat seriously. And that they are in fact actually trying to seriously sell it. And even looking back, we could even argue that the addition of the Pond and Trades, or even the fixing up back in Season 2's Hammer Barn could also be related to this, as the healers are trying to make an attempt to make their house more attractive. However, with that in mind, it does raise a lot of questions. Like, why are they selling the house? Will they actually sell it? And if they do, what's going to happen after? And I mean, just the idea of them moving is pretty odd, considering that they haven't had any major reasons to, like a change in their jobs or wanting to get a cheaper or maybe even better place. Although, I feel like this could be explained in a future episode. And I mean, if that one article is anything to go by, they got an insanely valuable property that would either be a challenge to pay off or a major fortune to sell. But regardless of what the reason could even be, whether it be career or finance related, what would really happen after? Well, to be honest, probably a lot. For example, and to start, the literal branding and cover of the very show itself would have to change. Because the Healer House itself is arguably pretty iconic, as it's been featured in everything from toys, promo images, the live show, and even in real life itself, albeit temporarily. It's essentially the one place where our main characters eat, sleep, and of course play, and where a majority of the stories we see take place, making it an extremely important location. So to ditch it completely, and start all over with a brand new location, would admittedly be a pretty bold move, and one that would honestly be difficult to pull off. 
because most people would still associate the old house with the show and need time to get used to the change, making something like this a really big deal that would likely take over multiple episodes or even seasons to fully accomplish. And on top of that, not only would they lose the iconic location, but also the characters around it, as outside of the Healer family, you also have their neighbors such as Lucky's family, Judo and Wendy, and even Doreen, who if anything, have only become more relevant to the show as it has continued, especially in Season 3, where pretty much all of them had some time in the spotlight, and to say the least, would be sorely missed if the healers left, as all of these are more or less fan favorites at this point, and some of them such as Pat are arguably not just fan favorites, but just popular characters in general, as he was one of only five characters to be featured in the aforementioned live show. And of course, depending on how far away they move, we would probably still see or at least hear from them, but to say the least their connection would be a lot weaker, meaning that the show would likely have to focus on new characters instead, which honestly probably wouldn't go over well with some viewers. As the previously mentioned characters are pretty popular, but on the other hand, this could also have a lot of potential in switching things up such as an arc about Bluey and Bingo having to make new friends or deal with a new set of people in general, something that a lot of kids, including myself at one point, actually went through, which could make for a very interesting and relatable story. And on top of that, we haven't even discussed the actual location of this potential new house. And honestly, if this were to happen, I would have to imagine that it would likely be in the same area, because moving out of the city would also require a lot of other stuff to be changed as well, such as the schools and other familiar locations, which in itself could definitely happen and be an interesting story on its own, but I personally think that even with what we already discussed, this is a really long stretch, because there would be a lot of work that would have to go into making all these changes. And even then, the idea of them moving out period is something that I honestly find kind of hard to believe, just because of how much of the show's norm would essentially have to be completely flipped upside down. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure there was a leaked scene from an upcoming episode that, kind of spoilers here, takes place in the future where the parents are still seen living in the same house, just older in age obviously. And now of course, you could argue that this was maybe some kind of imaginary sequence, and we don't actually know what that upcoming episode is 100% about yet, but I think it's something to point out. So yeah, with that, I don't think they are going to move out permanently, and that this whole setup will likely create some kind of story or arc for sure, but one that, for whatever reason, ends with them staying in their old house. If I had to make a wild guess, I assume that it would probably involve them trying to sell the house and getting ready for it, but through some crazy hijinks and emotional adventures, realize that they don't want to actually leave, and that despite their efforts and potential grievances with their old place, realize that it wouldn't be worth it to not only lose their old home, but also their friends, neighbors, and everything else they took for granted, and that there's truly no place like home. Or something like that, I don't know. But anyways, with all that said, those were some of my quick thoughts on the new Ghost Basket episode, and my ideas with what's going on with this whole moving out of the house thing. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about this episode and your ideas of what could be happening, but until next time, my name's Hideaki and I'll be signing out. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. So for today's art of the day, we have this wonderful drawing by Bud Pixels from Twitter. This one was actually from a few months ago, but I wanted to give it a shout out here as I thought it was a super creative idea, with him trying to make all these crazy connections about the show and stuff. And on top of that, Bud himself said that my videos along with Pugly's actually helped introduce him to Bluey, which was also incredibly nice to hear. So thank you.